My name is Paul Royal, and I manage the technical sales team for Biorad's custom antibody service, which is based on the HUCAL technology. So it's our responsibility to introduce the technology in the service, to discuss the specifics of customers' projects with them, and when the project is running, to act as the technical connection between the customer and the laboratory where the library screening is taking place. The HUCAL technology is a method of generating recombinant human antibodies. The process is animal free, it's fully in vitro and it takes about eight weeks. The technology underpinning this um, is formed of two parts. There is a synthetic library which encodes about 45 billion different human antibody fab fragment genes. And then we use a technology called phage display. And what phage display enables us to do is identify the uh, gene that encodes the antibody fab fragment which recognizes the customer's target of interest. Our latest innovation for the HUCAL service basically allows the customer to rapidly change between different antibody formats once we've completed the project or at the end of the project to receive the antibodies in multiple different formats. The technology that enables us to do this is called SPYTAG. So we now have a FAB antibody format which features a 13 amino acid tag at the C-terminus. In addition to this, we have a menu of pre-prepared proteins so these could be, for example, different species um, antibody FC domains, they could be dimerization domains, they could be naked proteins or they could be proteins coupled to uh, labels such as horseradish peroxidase or biotin. But all of these different proteins on the menu feature a spy catcher domain and when a spy tag and a spy catcher are combined they spontaneously form a peptide bond and peptide bonds are covalent linkages, so the reaction is irreversible and it's site-specific. And it's this technology which really allows us to rapidly uh, change the different formats of the antibodies that we produce. So we see lots of different um, benefits of this technology. With the example of bioanalysis, um, customers typically tend to come to us with a biotherapeutic drug, such as a biotherapeutic antibody, and they ask us to make custom antibodies which recognize their drug. The customers typically use these antibodies, for example, as capture and detection reagents in pharmacokinetic assays, which usually have some kind of sandwich ELISA format, or they tend to use them as positive control antibodies in immunogenicity assays, which have some kind of ELISA bridging format usually. So if you think of these two examples, customers typically need the antibodies in about three different formats. They tend to need a naked fab for the capture antibody for their pharmacokinetic assay. They tend to need a labeled fab for the detection antibody for their pharmacokinetic assay. And then for the immunogenicity assay, they tend to need the antibody in some kind of fully human IgG format to simulate the immune response to that biotherapeutic in the patient. Now, historically, we would have probably produced all of the antibodies in a project in a monovalent format and supplied those to the customer. And then the customers would have told us which ones they wanted, say, labeling for the detection antibodies or which ones they wanted format converting as the positive controls for the immunogenicity assay. But with the spy tag technology, what we can now do is we can, at the end of the project, we can provide all of the antibodies, say we generate 10 hits in all three different formats and send them all to the customer simultaneously. So the customer can then evaluate those clones in all of the different applications. Now in this example, I mentioned labeled antibodies. So if you think of the example, we've produced 10 different clones. If we use the spy tag technology to label them, all of those different clones would be labelled with the same pre-labeled partner protein, so they would all have exactly the same degree of labelling, and the customer could be confident that, say, the peroxidase that we'd labelled with would not be within the paratope of the antibody where it might negatively affect binding, because the fab which contained the paratope would not even have been on the molecule when that was originally labelled with the peroxidase. So this really gives you a very controlled and very specific way of labelling antibodies compared to an alternative technology such as primary amine coupling. Another example where we see this working would be um, with binding strength of the antibodies. So antibody binding strength is typically a function of two different things. You have the affinity of the antibody binding site for its target, and then you have the number of different binding sites on that particular antibody molecule. And if you take these together, you have something called avidity. Now in an ideal world, what you would want would be a clone with high affinity 
a high affinity clone, but you'd want it in a high avidity format. Now, if you want to accurately measure the affinity to select those high affinity clones in the first place, you need to work with a monovalent format. But a monovalent format is a low avidity format because it only features one antibody binding site on the molecule compared to, say, a bivalent format, which features the binding site twice. So again, historically, we would have typically made um, the antibodies in a monovalent format, measured the affinity, and then we would have taken selected clones um, with the highest affinity, and we would have format converted those into a bivalent format by subcloning to deliver to the customer the antibody in the best format. But this would have taken an additional four to six weeks. With the spy tag technology, what we can do is we can work with the antibody in the monovalent format all the way through the antibody generation process. But then before we deliver the antibodies to the customer, we can rapidly convert them all into the bivalent um, without any, introducing any significant extra time. So in terms of future developments, I think we have lots of plans in this area. I believe the first thing you'll see is probably we will expand the number of different formats available by adding extra, extra pre-prepared proteins to our menu. And so far in this discussion, all I've mentioned really is our custom antibody service. But I think what you'll see in the near future is um, spy tag and spy catcher variants of our antibodies being added to our catalog portfolio as well. So there's a lot going on here. I think it's a very exciting time and I would encourage people to watch this space. Mm -hmm.